Sam? Something bit me! Sam, what are you seeing down there? Oh my god. Sam! When I think of a movie like Piranha 3D, I don't associate that with Elizabeth Shue. So, <laughs> <laughs> what made you interested in that character? Um, well, I, um, I loved the director. He's a great director, and I knew that it would be a classy version of Piranha 3D, if that's possible. <laughs> um, and, um, and I get to be an action hero. I'm the sheriff. Yes, I, you I are. Have to save, yeah, I have to save the town. I have to save my family. Um, so I got to show off how, how, what a great, you know, kind of action hero-y heroine I can actually be. Now, was it all worth it? It was, yeah, it was worth it, and it was hard. There was a lot of difficult, challenging days of lots of action in 112 degree weather. So, um, yeah, it was definitely challenging, but it was worth it. It's such a fun movie. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Uh, uh. Careful. <laughs> She, um, she's in charge of the town, and the town has just been um, invaded by thousands of prehistoric piranha. There is a subterranean earthquake that was opened up just as a wet t-shirt contest is going on on a floating stage. And um, I'm called in to save the day, and I'm not able to, but um, I, do, um, I do save my kids. There's a lot of iconic um, actors in this film. There's um, Richard Dreyfuss. Yes. Was that the intent of Alexander Aja, the director? Yes. Um, I think he grew up as a kid loving the American 80s movies, and he's um, French, so he, you know, his point of view is very, uh, a little bit more detached. And so he loved the idea of all these kind of iconic 80s actors coming together and then doing a movie that was, you know, that felt like Jaws, but was even more extreme and more over the top and more fun. I want to know what the hell this thing is doing in my lake. Is that a piranha? This particular piranha vanished two million years ago. You have such interesting choices lately in your career. You played yourself in Hamlet 2, which is a funny, funny, funny film, and you were so great in it. And now Piranha 3D. I mean, you're having fun in your career right now, don't you? <laughs> I'm trying to. Definitely trying to have a little more fun. Um... It's a, it's, a, it's a long haul, and uh, you have to just kind of keep working, and whatever opportunity presents itself, you kind of have to not take, yourself, not take yourself so seriously and just, just kind of take a chance every once in a while. Because there's so many that never make it out anyway, so, you know, why, why overthink things? What can we expect from Miss Elizabeth Shue coming up? It's not going to be like Alligator 3D, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be. Could it could be. be. <laughs> I heard that you're doing a um a, a really f interesting independent movie with um the Winter's Bone Jennifer Lawrence actress. Is that yeah, true? Yeah, yeah. We're working on it right now in Ottawa. Yeah, she's awesome. Um, it's a really interesting movie. It's kind of Disturbia meets Psycho. And um and then there's a movie that I I did um last year that's going to be in the Toronto Film Festival called Janie Jones with Abigail Breslin and I got to play a really complicated dark meth addict mom. Wow. So um I got to go back into that territory a little bit and reconnect to um to a little more complicated role. Piranha hunt in packs. The first bite draws blood. The blood draws the pack. It's just, it's just fun. It's like a roller coaster ride. And, you know, when you go to see a big movie like this, that's what you expect. You want to be taken away and you want to laugh and you want to scream. And, and uh, it definitely provides all of that. And it's all in full glorious 3D. Mm, things pop out at you. <laughs> fish come at you. Oh, yes, it's cool. Well, thank you so much, Miss Elizabeth. Visit us in Palm Springs sometime. I'd love to. <laughs>